Hey there! This is Sophie from My Sophie, bringing you the first of many book reviews for my blog, Fabulously Fiction. Today I will be discussing Janet Ivanovich's new novel from the Stephanie Plum series, Explosive 18. For those that are new to the Stephanie Plum series, Stephanie Plum is a bounty hunter. She's not very good at it. She's more often than not being thrown into garbage or losing a skip or something like that. This book is no exception. In Explosive 18, we finish off where Sizzling 17 ended, where Stephanie's coming back from a trip from Hawaii that she got when one of her, one of her many stalkers died and left her two tickets to Hawaii that he had originally planned for the both of them to use. When Stephanie arrives home, she doesn't want to talk about Hawaii. Her on-again, off-again boyfriend, Morelli, doesn't want to talk about Hawaii. And Ranger, who she has a lot of chemistry with, doesn't want to talk about Hawaii either. In fact, Stephanie keeps saying it's complicated until about a third of the way through the book where we finally find out what happened in Hawaii. On the flip side, there is also another area of the plot. Stephanie has accidentally picked up a, an envelope that has a photograph in it that everyone wants. She has a fake FBI after her, she has the real FBI after her, and she also has the supposed fiancé of a dead man after the photograph as well. No one knows what the photograph signifies and on top of that Stephanie has to try and find a skip that she has a history with by the name of Joyce Berenhart. If you have ever read these books, Stephanie and Joyce do not have a good relationship since Stephanie came home and found her ex-husband and Joyce going at it on the kitchen table. This book has what normally happens from a Je Janet Ivanovich book. It's funny, it has the quirky characters that we've all, that I've come to love, and I don't know what would have happened if she wasn't being able to keep up to with the content. I read it in one day. It was one of those nice, easy reads that you could just sit down and not have to think too hard about to read compared to some other novels from authors that I'm big fans of. If I could give it a rating, I'd probably give it a good 9 out of 10 to a 10. It's kept up with the humour, it made me laugh, there's quotes in there that I'm still got stuck in my head and I don't know how she's going to top it in the next one because this one was hilarious. that's that for this episode of Fabulously Fiction with the novel Explosive 18 by Janet Ivanovich. At the moment I have no idea which book I'm going to be reviewing next but when but in my next review I will hopefully have an idea of what will come next. I'm hoping to move on to a couple of books that I've been putting on the back burner for ages so just keep a look out.